Hey everyone, welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a dungeon game, just like this one right here, uh, where there's rounds, health, and you have a weapon, you can attack, and there's a nice little animation, and you can lose, and when you lose, you uh, die forever, and it's endless waves. It, you can make this into like a sort of Call of Duty Zombies in Scratch, or whatever you want to make it, um, but when you die, the game just cancels. So, let me show you how to make this right now. So first thing you want to do is you want to make your player script, and my player is just going to be the scratch cat, because I'm too, uh, I don't really want to make a new code right now, and then I'll also show you how to make like a movement animation, so we're just going to set them to uh, smaller size, I'll do 50, 50 is good, I'll actually set it to 20, um, set it to 20, and in this video I'm just going to be doing player movements, uh, because uh, I don't want this video to be super long like the last tutorial I did, which was 50 um, whole minutes. So we're not going to do that. So what you want to do is you're going to get a, when green flag is clicked. Uh, and then you're going to want to make a new variable. You're going to get rid of this my variable. And you're going to make a new variable. Make it for this player only. And you're going to call it old x. Just like that. Make another variable for this player for this sprite only. Old y. And what this is going to do is it's going to get us collision. So we're going to do set old x and set old y, and then you're just going to leave that blank, and then you're going to get a forever loop, forever, and then you're going to get an if else, and then you're going to get this, you're going to copy this, and you're going to just get rid of the bottom, and then put this in here, on the else, and then you're going to get, you're going to make a, a new sprite, and you're going to just, you're going to make your layout real quick, and uh, that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my layout, uh, dungeon, outline this is just going to be the walls and stuff that you want to collide with it's just basically the stuff you're not gonna uh, just basically the stuff you're gonna not want to touch so we're gonna actually do this right now just make the walls and once uh, you get the walls done I'm just gonna do super basic walls just like this just like this perfect put it zero zero and I'm actually gonna fix this up a little bit perfect okay the walls aren't perfect but it's something now you're gonna want to put a zero zero and now we're gonna make the movement script so uh, go to player this and uh, I'll show you how to make a different like uh, where it changes up to the walls change up to so I just set my language to Russian hold on uh, English where's English English okay so now we're just gonna make like one with walls just like this just like that make it two walls have it two walls perfect just like that and you're going to want to have a little spot where your people are going to enter your monsters. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to go actually do what this video is about, which is the player scripts. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this and you're going to put if touching. And then you're going to put the touching part and you put dungeon outline. And you're going to put go to. And then you're going to get old X and old Y. Just like that. Now what we're going to do up here is we're going to put motion, go to 0, 0, then set old X and old Y to Y position, X position, and Y position. And you're going to want to put this on the bottom one too. So this is the script you should end up with. This is What this is going to do is it's going to make collision, and it's super easy, so you won't have to walk out. And now we're going to do the actual movement scripts. So we're going to get forever, get an if, we're going to get forever, and then put if inside that, and we're going to get key d is pressed then change x by one or change x by uh five by five then key a is pressed negative five okay Now change y by negative 5 for the a, and negative 5 for s, 
So if S key is pressed, go down by negative 5. And then if W key is pressed, go up by, change Y by 5. Perfect. And now we're going to show you that the collision works just like that. And now we're going to make our actual person move. So we're going to set rotation style left, right. And then we're going to put point in direction 90 for the right, point in direction negative 90 for the left, just like that. Except we don't. For some reason, it's switching him. So we're going to, oh, it's because we didn't, wait. Negative 90. What if we do like that? Um, it's because we don't have set rotation style to that. So there we go. Now we have our movement. We can move everywhere. And I just realized we didn't put this down there. Okay. There we go. Game looks so much better now. Make sure the dungeon outline is at zero, 0, by the way. And now it looks so much better. I'm actually going to change the backdrop to be a different color. Uh, probably like a dark hot pink. Okay. There we go. And if you want to have the dungeon floor be a different color, I'm just going to do that too. I'm going to call it dungeon floor. And light purple. And you're going to want to size this to be perfect size, zero, zero. Make sure you do that uh, a little more to the right. Okay. And now what we're going to do is when green flags click, looks, go to back layer and show. What this is going to do is it's going to do this. Perfect. I'm actually going to change it to be darker because I don't like how bright that is. It's kind of hurting the eyes a little lighter too. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. Now we have our color and now we have our character movement scripts. Now we need to do the animation. So we're just going to copy this and then you're going to get rid of all of these and you're going to get, uh, you're going to get an or you're going to get a lot of ors. Two, three, and then one more. And you're going to put D right there. A right there. Just like that get a W and then get an A and then this is actually going to be an if else statement right here just like that put this in here and then in the else you're going to put switch costume to costume one and then in the if you're going to put next costume and then put like a, a wait one second or something like that I'll put two and now when we start it Actually, I'll just do this and start the game again. And there we go. Now we have our movement. I'm actually going to slow down the animation a little bit. And there we go. That's our whole character uh, so far complete. Just like that. So this is this video. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the enemies. So yeah.